so I've been called out. You see, there's a discussion on Twitter about slow motion pour videos with the beer of the month from Keru, one of my favorite breweries. Love your work, guys. And uh, I kind of said, hey, this sounds like a fun challenge. Let's see who can make a great pour video. Hi, Future Rog here. I've just finished the edit. Before we go any further into this video, I did want to state that this is not sponsored in any way, shape or form. This was just a friendly little challenge between my friends at Kero Brewery and myself. Uh, I, the beer I purchased through the Beer of the Month Club, paid full price for. Uh, every single thing you see me use in this video is paid for by me. It's just a friendly challenge, not sponsored. Okay? Right. Formalities out of the way. Back to the video. I've no idea what to do. All I know is I don't have a good glass. Nope, nope, nope. There are a lot of Coca-Cola branded glasses in here. So, I gotta do something about that first. <laughs> Right, so, I can't see myself on the screen. Got my glasses, went down to Kmart, grabbed those, grabbed a charcuterie board. Anyway, nice bit of wood that I can use for my backdrop. Uh, I'm gonna need a few more things, that being uh, this, this old projector's table, but it has a thread in the bottom, which I'm gonna use on a tripod. And of course my tripod, this old thing has been beaten up, gone through the ringer, but this is what I'll be using uh, with this board and this board to put the drinks on, glasses to pour into. Um, what else? I'm not sure if I'll go gimbal, we'll, we'll see how we go. Also a jar. So I've got a jar, I've got some glasses, and I've got a table. And we're going to try to shoot this outside so we get some nice natural light. We'll see how that plays out. Um, hopefully it works so then I don't have to worry about lights. Uh, camera, of course, which I have here. Of course, the other thing that I need, which I completely didn't think about, is, of course, the beer. So grab the beer. Sacrificial beer, because this one's going to go through the ringer before it gets drunk, if it gets drunk at all. Okay, so first things first, I'll just drop that down. I'm going to use my light stand for the table itself rather than my tripod because I will need my tripod when it comes to there we go. Shit's on fairly tight. Yeah. I will need my tripod when it comes to filming and stuff. And so I don't want to make this but the other advantage to using a light stand is if I need to lift it up higher or drop it down lower, depending on you know the angle I'm going for, I can do that quite easily using this method. So this will be my main table, this is it. And then my plan is ugh, to take this board, sit it just on the top here with glass, like this, stay there. And of course, the beer in question being the Keru Cherry Bell Cherry Belgian Ale, which is 2.1 stand drinks of 8%, which is why I'm going to sacrifice one of these and not try to drink them as I go because this would be a very different video if I let that happen. Yeah, simple, simple, he said. I used to have a nice uh, um, hedge out the back, which would be perfect for this, but this isn't going to work because I don't have the hedge anymore. Um, just a, a wooden wall, so we're going to try to use a, a tree facing the house more, see how that works. Plus the sun will be behind me, which hopefully doesn't create shadows, and hopefully though sort of does what I want it to do for lighting the scene.
Turns out my tripod doesn't go high enough for what I was trying to do, so I'm going to have to find a way to prop myself up and go from there. Only because I do need static shots. I think I've got an idea. Now take our can to open. This is the tricky bit. Where does the can disappear from the frame? About here. Okay. Hit record. Recording and whew, three, two, one. I wonder if I can get closer with this before I go and get all excited about using my other lens. Why well, don't I have to rebalance anything? Angles. Let's see how close we can get to this. Okay. Might need another glass too. to switch to different frame rate we also need, just need a cloth because we're having those drips in the shot okay let's see just rinse this one out and we'll cut straight back to another pack there. there's one more angle I want to get which is Stop that. A little bit different again. This one's a bit trickier. Uh. Okay, so I think I just need one more shot. Having reviewed some of the footage on my camera, I think maybe if I could do a 4K shot that I can punch into, that would hopefully just be the last shot that I need to um, to really get the uh, get those bubbles and things going. So hopefully the bed's not flat yet, because that'll be terrible for the shot. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Um, the only thing I need to do now is edit. I've done a 4K shot. I've done two angles, just sing to two angles, just to keep it simple for this one, uh, speed up the sort of turnaround time. And um, as you can see, several several casualties on the ground there that um, I'm now going to have to clean up before I do the editing. And it's already 2.30, so it's going to take me probably well into the night to edit this, but Cheers. It's a little bit flat, a little bit warmer than it was, but it's not too hot a day, so I think we've got away with it. It's really good. So one more shot that I just thought of when I was looking to do the edit, and then, yeah, get on with it. One of those shots better work because it's very hard to keep tracking and use the thumbstick and spin the thing and hold the thing straight. It's it's better of two people if you can do it, but 
but use what you've got, right? Now to the editing. Okay, so now into the edit. I've finished the edit now after several coffees and plenty of beer. Um, I just want to run you through a couple of things in the edit that you may have missed when you watch the full clip and to, to show you what, what I've sort of what I've included, uh, particularly in sound design. So first of all, I guess I should show you the full clip, right? Right, so now you've seen the video. Did you pick up on any other sound design? Let me show you. Okay, so here's my edit inside Illumina Fusion, which I use for all of my videos. And you can see I've got my sort of panning motion shots. These didn't work out as well as I'd hoped, but you know, they're a good little intro, shows you what the bear is. Then we get onto the pour with our 4K, and you'll notice that there's a sound effect right here, bear pour with foam sound effect that I used. I could have pulled my own sound effect from the bear pouring. Unfortunately, with all the neighborhood noise and the wind noise and everything like that, I couldn't quite get a clean audio out of that video. So that's why I went for using sound effect, thanks to Epidemic Sound, which I use for my music and video. And then right here is a couple more extras that you may not have noticed. So when we go into the shot that goes into the bear glass itself, You'll see I've still got the bare foam pour here. I've turned up the volume a little bit on it to make it more prominent, but I've also added a couple of more. So I've got an underwater diver movement. So that is just basically the sound of diver. If I isolate, isolate that out. So if we just mute our bare pour and our other sounds, including our music, and I just play that through for you. You can hear the sound of a, a diver under the water. On top of that, I then layered a vinegar pour to add a little bit, just to add a little bit more fizz to the audio uh, because, you know, underwater sounds is great, but bare fizzes, so we wanted to have a little bit of fizz, which sounds like this. And then fading out. So now that I've stacked that all together, now just listening to the sound audio without any music, it comes across once it's stacked and I've played with the volumes a little bit like this. And then I continue the sound from the bear paw audio effect basically throughout most of the rest of the video, uh, eventually fading out around here when I'm in the slow motion of the bear settling, and then the music fades out, everything goes to black. Now if I was making this into an actual ad uh, for a client, obviously the slow motion of the bear sort of frothing and I'd shorten that a lot more but this was more to sort of show the the highlight of the bear I'd also throw in a logo here which I don't have a proper high-res logo from Carew Brewery to throw in the end but you would have the logo come up at the end and um, yeah I think it could make a, a nice little ad for social media this is the example of the kind of thing I probably could do for a brand. If you're a brand out there and you've got a beverage or, or anything really and you'd like me to have a go at making a video for you, uh, reach out. Uh, you'll find my contact in the About Me description. Uh, otherwise you can reach out Rusty Rog on Twitter or Instagram or any of those places. Um, so that's the video. So thank you very much for watching. That was the behind the scenes of my beer pouring video with the Keru Cherry Bell uh, Belgian Ale. Uh, cherry Belgian Ale. I hope you enjoyed it and if you'd like to support this channel uh, one way you can do that is by going down into the description and having a look at the affiliate link I have for Epidemic Sound. If you click on that and sign up to Epidemic Sound which I got all the music and audio effects for this video from I will get a little bit of a little bit of a, a commission that helps me pay for my my uh, Epidemic Sound um, subscription so that would be much appreciated. Anyway, thank you very much. I'm going to leave you now with the full 120 frame per second slow motion clip of me pouring beer with 
uh, nothing else, just that. And um, I might throw a little bit of music on it just so it's not just quiet and silent, but uh, it's, um, yeah, unedited, just the full clip, and I hope you like it. Thanks very much again for watching, and we'll see you again really soon in the next video. Bye for now. Thank you.